Hello guys, welcome to this video. My name is Anurut and today in the JavaScript tutorial, I will discuss about unload event. This event is very useful event and this event comes under Windows event. So here in this video, I will just explain this event, but I can't show you the practical example because of the browser restriction. This event doesn't work for each browser. So for me, it will not work in my browser. So that's why I can't show you the practical example, but I'll try to explain everything. Okay. So now I'll go to the HTML file. This is my HTML file and this file preview is this one. So now when this even occurs that you have to understand first of all. So when I will leave that page, suppose if I close this tab, so that time this event will occur. Even if I redirect any other page from this page, suppose I have one button and when I'll click that button, it will redirect to any other page. Suppose google.com, it will redirect to google.com means this page will leave and it will open on any other new page right so that time this event will occur as well so i hope it is clear when this event occurs now i will show you the syntax so this is the html file and here i will write on on is the common thing and the method name is on load right and here you have to write a function name so i will write my function by the way this one you can write anything and after that just simply you have to call this function nothing else okay and when we call this function so we write a function keyword and then curly braces so here uh, when you will leave that page means i i already so have shown like this is the page and this is the preview so when i leave that page so that time suppose i want to show one alert message right so here when this event uh, it is the useful i mean when we can use this event so that i will show you also suppose i have one form uh, okay form here i will create a form tag this is the form tag and suppose i have one input field input type type is text okay so many time you have seen this kind of scenario but you don't know maybe like what method it used so i will show you suppose here I have one input field and I have filled some data but without save that data I just leaving this page so that time it will show a alert message like uh, you haven't saved your changes right so that time you can use this event right so I hope it is clear if you have still any doubt you can write it in the comment section I'll try to solve your doubt now I'll remove that one just I will show you the syntax. The syntax is very simple. So here just you have to write one alert message. And now you have to write you haven't saved your changes. Right. So means suppose you have filled anything and you did not save yet or you didn't submit that data. So that time you can show the alert message like this way. So this method is very useful. Right. Like and this is very simple i hope guys it is clear if you find this video helpful so please like this video also subscribe my channel if you want